Hi guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah. Welcome back to my channel. So we are here for our last episode in the Crafty Love, the Valentine's um, Crafty Love series that we have been doing. Um, and yeah, what I thought that we could do today as the final one is some bursting heart um, envelopes. So you may have seen my bursting bloom envelopes, which I mean, actually that was many years ago now. Um, and I have done them, I think, a couple of times because I found them, you know, pretty fun to do. Um, but I thought, you know, let's have a bursting heart envelope instead. So again, I've got some of my um, heart printables. Now, again, these have been printed on 230 GSM. Now, I have cut a few out ready so that you're not just kind of, you know, simply watching me cut some hearts out. Um, but that being said, I have bought like these blue ones along, which actually I hadn't cut any out because I thought let's have some blue ones swell into the mix. Just so we've got some different looks, really. Um, so I might mix these in with one or two bluish toned hearts, maybe from the other ones. So I just quickly, quickly oops, take a few of those. I don't know, you know, I'll do this one in you know in a little while so but yeah i thought we'll start with some other colors but i'll just cut these out just as a reminder that i wouldn't mind doing some of those i also wouldn't mind using some of these brown ones but again it's just going to be kind of like if we get time maybe we'll do some brown ones so i'll try and leave that on the top of the pile so that they're jogging my memory so how do we make these bursting heart envelopes well they're the same obviously as the bursting bloom envelopes um, so what have I got here? These are some envelopes from a card making pack. Now this is, oh, let's just have a look, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, kind of like just under five and a half inches. Um, it's a square envelope. And obviously this would fit on a journal page. That's because I make journals typically that are just an A4 sheet, you know, folded in half. I've also bought along, however, some slightly smaller envelopes, which are... Um, four four by four size envelopes now as you can see i've kind of opened the flaps up because our bursting hearts are going to go inside the flap coming out as if they're bursting out um you know like a present or something like that um so i thought these would be really really nice now obviously if you didn't want to use you know your envelopes like this you could actually make some envelopes um from you know from some patterned paper or something so i mean we could even try that in a moment but let's just kind of try one or two out of these first and then we'll kind of you know experiment if we get time so my hearts that i've cut out i've got a variety of sizes here and all i'm going to do is kind of tuck them in to my flap like so like that okay perhaps we'll have oh let's have this one tuck them into your envelope flap like that and then i personally would probably incorporate some different sized hearts as well so for example there i've taken one you know cut freehand from the valentine's paper we could have a couple of those i mean maybe wouldn't want them quite so uniform as that but maybe something like this and then I might have to cut another one out oh I've cut out loads and still I don't appear to have quite the right right ones that I that I need isn't that just so typical you think you're being really organized and then no <laughs> just not as organized as you hope oh I'm so sorry it's just just one of those things no matter how many things you bring along it's always the thing that you haven't bought along that is the thing that you want so let's just take this okay so cut out my heart I probably need two so I'll just cut out this one as well okay like that Right, like that, okay. And then, oops, pop that into my carrier bag, my rubbish carrier bag to the side of me. So yeah, 
we're just going to layer our hearts up now obviously you want them coming out you know kind of poking properly out of your your envelope like that you know so they've got the impression of bursting bursting out what did i do with that other pink one now <laughs> this is just going to be a disaster maybe i apologize now because yeah i can just tell already it's gonna go that way maybe we might be able to have this big big ivory one in there something like that i mean how pretty does that look so i'm going to glue those in now i've sort of positioned them this is the best way i think to do them is position them roughly how you want them oh my goodness now i've got glue problems oh i'm going to change my glue hold on right okay i have changed my glue now got a fresh one well it's not a fresh one it was another open one but please excuse the dirty glue now it's because my paper clip has been you know wedged in there so it's rusting rusting away inside the envelope right as i was saying like many moons ago oh i've had one of those really 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 awful mornings so far so i do apologize i've just poked myself in the eye with my glasses so yeah really hurting now and yeah just mm. my email my phone and all of that kind of stuff has been literally off the hook this morning so struggling quite a bit with anxiety and obviously just yeah a little bit flustered and you know but yeah hopefully um we will have a nice time now and oh just relax relax and enjoy ourselves so but yeah i do apologize right then i'm going to glue this one down which obviously you know needed to go kind of in the middle so like that so you want to try and have that little cherub showing if possible there we go and this one oh and it's freezing yes i've actually got two polo necks on today would you believe yeah i've never really seen anybody wear two polo necks before it <laughs> doesn't look as weird as you'd think actually i had this white one on and um i thought oh i'm really cold so then i took it off and put a black one on underneath it so you can kind of see like the black underneath the you know the ivory and obviously around the neck of you can see i've got two polar necks on but yeah like i say strangely it doesn't look as peculiar as it does sound because i did expect it to look proper strange but actually it looked all right um, i might even be a trendsetter who knows maybe it will be all the rage one day everyone will be wearing double layered polo necks right that's our bursting hearts and then of course you know you could decorate your envelope with some gorgeous papers so again i've got some of my valentine's paper oops valentine's papers or i have got some of my roses papers so let's just bring them both in and see what's going to look better with these or maybe some of these actually okay right let's just tear this down just really so as we get a little bit of you know of color on the envelope i think so yeah i mean not essential but i think it would look good with a bit of a bit of pink on the oops on the envelope so just pop that down on there oops okay so i hope that everybody's having a good day hope your day is going better than mine oh dear disaster disaster day um yeah like i say very 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 chilly now and actually i mean to be honest it's not so cold today but just kind of as i've sat here i've now suddenly got cold because i have been obviously doing things all morning and not really thinking about it but now that i've sat down i'm like oh actually i am quite chilly so yeah right just take one of my butterflies like that don't the hearts just look gorgeous bursting out from the envelope they look so pretty don't they I mean, weirdly enough, my bursting bloom envelopes, which I haven't made any for a while, so I might have to even come back and do some more because I do really love them. Um, yeah, just, you know, they're just one of those cute little things. So, uh, 
and I know that then after that I've done these bursting shrooms with um, some mushrooms which um, we just couldn't resist kind of having that play on words so we did yeah the bursting shrooms but yeah don't they just work brilliant with the bursting hearts now so they're just kind of one of those ideas that you know keeps coming coming back round so right and then I've got some of my fairy tale words here which I thought maybe would look quite good on these because again you know we're doing all about love and romance and all of that kind of stuff so here obviously these are well I mean they're fairy tale themed but you know hey it doesn't get more love and romance themed than fairy tales does it so i'm kind of thinking we could have something like that on there so again just ink that up isn't that gorgeous and then i've also got some velvet ribbon and i'm just thinking a bit of velvet ribbon maybe actually around the top to be honest so let's just reposition this wondering whether we might like the hmm. i'm actually thinking maybe we need some more paper what do you reckon I'll just tear a little bit more down just in case we need a bit more a bit more on here somewhere maybe even just this small amount let's just maybe have something like that actually i wonder whether we could even have a heart popped on here or the other thing that would look really good on here is actually a rosebud which i wonder if i've got any of these printed on thicker paper if i'm printing out or if i'm cutting out sorry the the flowers i do prefer them to be printed probably on um thicker paper if i'm truthful so just see um, no, no. Oh, of course that would be just way too easy wouldn't it to actually have some i have got these from my perfume papers but they are a little bit on the big side probably for this envelope but just see you know it's just about working with what you've got isn't it sometimes so i'm just wondering whether i might be able to take this that there now we could have like the yeah the flowers in the background mm. I wonder if we could have this kind of like hanging down from the top I mean, it's a little bit disjointed, but to be honest, I don't mind it. So, yeah, should we go for that? So, again, just glue this paper down. I will ink around the um, the whole thing in a moment. So, just pop that one down there. Oops. And then the roses here. Just pop those down. Yeah, I'm filming this, it's half term. Um, so, yeah, typical half term weather now. We'd had like a run of a few nice days, but yesterday and today have been pretty drizzly and not very nice. I mean, actually, I don't think it is actually that cold today, but it feels very chilly. So, yeah. Right, so I'm thinking, perhaps have that like that. Okay. So, yeah, that's quite nice, doesn't it? I did say about we could even maybe have a heart on here, but we could actually. I wonder if I need a bigger one. Yeah. 
Mm. Quite like the heart. What do we think? Yeah, should we have the heart? Okay, right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the hearts with the hot glue so that I can have it sticking up slightly. I know I talk about this all the time, but, you know, if you put quite a bit of glue on and then don't press it down too hard, it will give you a bit of a 3D vibe going on. So like that. Okay. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? Oh, just before we go with that pink... Oh, I think maybe the red looks better, to be honest. Just check that we don't want it through the middle. Okay, let's put this one down. Oh, I've got now a lump of hot glue, which would be like one lump too many, to be honest. I know I said about it being 3D, but that would look strange if it was just a lump right through the middle wouldn't it right let's take my ink ink around the the envelope itself so yeah okay and then i've got some of those pearly buckles or oh, actually i've even got a diamante buckle which we could just have on here. Oops. Oh my goodness, now look what I'm doing with this velvet ribbon. What on earth is going on with me? Just because I, yeah. <laughs> Obviously a little bit, oh, today. Right, there we go. So yeah, maybe we'll have the butterfly there. That looks very pretty. And I think the buckle will be the other side. Yeah. So I'm just going to hot glue this down. And then what I will probably do is just add a little bit of extra hot glue here. Just so it's got, you know, a helping hand there to press the buckle down. Like that. Okay. Okay. I'm just... Oh. Oh my goodness. So sorry. This is honestly like shocking. Shockingly bad video. I am so sorry. Right. There we go. And then we can just trim the velvet ribbon. And you can tuck it round the back. I do sometimes do that. Although it's got to be said probably not really if it's velvet because that would bulk this out quite a lot. But then what you've got is obviously your lovely pocket. If you haven't done a me and glued it, at, glued it down. There you go, your lovely pocket in here. And isn't that just so scrumptious? So you could have something really, really pretty tucked in here. Or actually I've just got some vintage ephemera here. You could just have even just something like that tucked in. How yummy does that look? It's like a little present, isn't it? Exploding hot. So let's do another one of those. Should we do a smaller one just to, you know, get a different kind of look going on? So I've got some green hearts here. Should we do a couple of green ones maybe? Mm, that's quite pretty, isn't it? Uh, oh dear, I'm not going to have enough, am I? Something like that. Mm, they do actually take up quite a few hearts, so be warned, you will have to cut more than you more than you first think. Right, take another one. I wonder whether I should be mixing it up with the sort of ivory one. Well, let's try this one and, you know, then we'll see. Maybe swap around and have an ivory one instead. There we go. So have you been crafting along, making some lovely, you know, crafty love goodies? 
love to hear whether you have been, you know, having a um, fun time crafting along. You know, I'd love it if you have been and, you know, enjoying yourself. That would be awesome. Okay. So as I film this, it is actually Valentine's Day. So, um, yeah. Right. Let's glue these down. So again, glue them down sort of in order. So this one needs to go in first. Gluing that down there like that. If you can, you want to kind of have them poking out a little bit from the, you know, from the envelope itself. Because you want them to look, you know, you want it to look busy. Okay, so, yep. Pop this one down. Like that. Okay. This one. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry about this. Hang on. Yep, I've now dropped the, oh, dropped the uh, heart down. I've got glue all over there. So, I mean, this one, we've only even got three. I mean, to be honest, it doesn't look too bad just with three, but can we have a, another one or two on there if we can get them in? Oops. Yeah, something like that. I mean, I don't mind it with just the three, but probably more is better. So generally, I think more is more. So, yeah. Mm -mm. Okay, right. right. Just dab that glue out. Okay, right. Just mop that out. Now, what should we do on this envelope? Let's just see what paper I've got here. I don't know whether I've got any really with a lot of green on it, but... Yeah, we might be able to go with a few of these kind of sections. Again, this from the Roses collection of papers, not the Valentine's collection. But, I mean, don't they just complement each other really well? So, yeah, definitely quite nice to um, mix and match these two, two kits, aren't they? They really do look good together. Now, do we want to... Just take that down like that. And then perhaps we want to have something else from the other corner. So that on. Oh, and perhaps. Right, let's take that there. Okay, just take that down. And then this one. Oh my goodness, isn't that just a feast for the eyes? I love how that looks. So, yep, yeah, let's pop this on. Obviously, as you can see, this envelope's got quite a sort of, you know, mark there where the, you know, the pre-glued gum type part is. Um, you know, but we're just covering that up, obviously, with some some paper. So, you know, don't worry too much if you've got you know, pre-gummed envelopes and they're quite messy like this, you know, quite a sort of evident or quite an apparent, you know, obvious glued part, then just, you know, just put something down over it and then it's going to look, you know, look fine. So let's just take that down like that. Okay. Right. Doesn't that look scrumptious? Absolutely scrumptious. And again, perhaps we will have a fairy tale word. Oh, or, 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 or. Just wondering if we might have a perfume. Hmm. Uh, oh, have I got some here? Like, oh, not really. Oh, God. 
never got quite the right things, have you? Like, well, I haven't. I don't know about you guys, but yeah, I've never, never got the thing that I'd really most need or, you know, most like to use. Always seem to have the wrong stuff. Oh, right now, talking of the right or the wrong stuff, I suddenly then thought, oh, I've got these shoe printers. Let's just take one of these. Okay, sorry about my phone pinging now. Hopefully that's the tail end of the stuff I've been working on this morning. Okay. Oh, I had a smoothie this morning to try and keep my my energy levels and my uh, yeah my positivity up. Honestly, it does make quite a difference, I think, you know, what you eat, especially if you're going through kind of like some, you know, some bits and pieces, then, yeah, it's really easy to just reach for, you know, reach for junk food, isn't it? And um, actually, if you can kind of avoid that, which is, you know, easier said than done, isn't it? Because like I say, especially if you're going through a bit of, you know, anxiety kind of times or anxious times or whatever, that's the thing you want to eat, isn't it? Of course, you know, you just want to stuff your face with some yummy, yummy rubbish. But yeah, it does make a difference and you do feel way better if you manage to resist. Right, I'm thinking a bit of sari silk across here. Mm. I suddenly spotted that lace. I would love that. I mean, that is going to bulk that out a bit. But hey, does it matter? Let's go for it. Let's make this really flamboyant, shall we? You know, just just this one. We won't do this with all of them. But yeah, let's just have one that's really like, whoa, in your face. cinderella -y. Really cinderella -y. So, right. Now, this one, obviously, it's going to go over that lace and off that lace, if you see what I mean. So, I'm really going to put quite a bit of blue up here on the top section. So that hopefully I can squish it right down here over the lace, not press it down quite so hard on the top. And that way it's it's evened out the distribution. Oh my goodness, isn't this looking yummy? I feel like Cinderella has like literally sprung onto my desk. <laughs> right. Let's now pop our sorry silk down. So, yeah. Okay, this was just like a little scrap that I had laying around. So it's just, just the right size for this. Okay, and we're just like ruffling this up across the, the envelope top. So like that. Okay, like that. Oh my goodness. How yummy does that look? I mean, like I say, it's quite a, you know, quite a flamboyant pocket, isn't it? But, oh my gosh, very, 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 very tightly, very gorgeous. So, yeah, let's just pop that down like that. Love how that looks. Now, just wondering, uh, gloss slipper, we've just got this gloss slipper sentiment. Uh, I don't know really whether it's going to kind of, yeah, there's not really anywhere much for it to go on this, but let's, let's have a look. Just see, you know, we'll just see if we can squish it on somewhere. Probably not, but always worth a try, isn't it? I love it if we can always squish on an extra thing or two, so... Could have it down there is that just weird I don't know I mean I know it's not even a glass slipper so there is that but weirdly actually I do think it sort of breaks it up because there's a lot of the green and the pink so I think maybe this does look quite good so yeah let's just glue that down again just using the hot glue for speed and we're just popping that on there and the other thing is obviously this is quite lumpy here so you know the hot glue is just a good you know, good method to glue it down because it's going over sort of, you know, multiple levels, if you can see that. So, yeah, I love that one. That one is absolutely yummy. Right, let's do another one. So, should we do another small one? 
I'm doing the small ones actually because I'm hoping that that's going to tweak out our hearts a bit more. So just to save, you know, save cutting out any more. So let's just try this. I don't know how it will look with the, you know, the green and the green and the ivory, but let's give it a try. Oops. Like that. And what about a little cherub one as well? So yeah. Oh my goodness. That again, feast for the eyes, feast for the eyes, isn't it? Right, so again, pop the hearts down. I mean, could these be any easier? I mean, that's another thing, isn't it? Like, absolutely love, love anything easy. So, you know, if it looks dramatic like this and it's quick and easy to achieve, I mean, it just doesn't really get any better, does it? So, yeah. And who doesn't want their heart bursting after all? So, it's just a win-win, isn't it? Right, let's pop this one down. So this one probably just put glue, you know, all over. Oops, nearly did it again, didn't I? Dabbed it all over there. So, yeah, let's put that one down there like that. Okay. And then this one, just pop this one here. Yeah, more like that, I think. So, hopefully a bit of that rosebud just poking out behind here. Oops like that oh my goodness how yummy 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 does that look right so again let's just pop some paper on here now I'm not sure what paper we really need on here let's have a look oh I'm thinking I was gonna say actually some of the perfume papers but actually look at this one <gasps> scrumptious 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 right obviously I have got that glue kind of mess showing there a little bit so I might just take this down here maybe then be able to put something on that side we'll just kind of check that out in a minute but let's just see okay Oh, that film Bob Marley is out today. Um, well, that's not the name of the film, but, you know, it's about Bob Marley's life. Yeah, I think that's out today. Um, so I might try and go and see that later. I love um, reggae music. Don't know really much about Bob Marley's life. Obviously, you know, know that he, he died way too young, didn't he? I think he died of cancer. Um, which actually I hadn't even realised that until the other day and somebody said to me, oh, he, he died of cancer. Um, yeah, so, yeah, wouldn't mind going to see that if I get a chance later. Right, let's just take a couple of these and see. Because I'm thinking maybe actually have a heart on the actual envelope. No. Oh, I think the green. The green's the dramatic effect that we're kind of looking for here so, yep. okie dokie there we go now do we need to have anything else in here because there's quite a bit of paper showing Hmm. Maybe the heart's not the best after all. Can't quite get this to look right for some reason. Maybe I maybe I would be better off having a different bit of paper. Let's try. Hmm. Let's try this one. Let's just take this down a little bit. Do you know, I've not used any lace, have I? Well, I did use that lace actually on the last one, that gathered lace. But yeah, I haven't really used any lace particularly, which it's very unlike me, isn't it? So 
yeah I might have to get a bit of lace going on this one perhaps oh I mean that's quite pretty isn't it yeah that is quite pretty so just going to take this down slightly because otherwise it's just overhanging that pocket not that that matters really but okay let's just put that down and obviously this is just covering up that entire gummed gummed area so yeah looks good and then right let me just see if i've got some lace that would be suitable to place this on just to make it stand out because i'm very aware that it's you know it's quite blendy it's blending in a bit too much isn't it so let's just see oh i'm wishing that i had some more of that red lace probably have got some somewhere but lord only knows where so yeah i just want to just now I have to go looking for it. Just take that header part off of that lace. Okay. Mm, oh my goodness, which is the right way and the wrong way? Oh, I'm so rubbish at seeing. Right. That way, I think. Yes, I don't think quite the right lace. Let me just take this down. hasn't this week whizzed i mean this series has yeah just really been a lot of fun to do and oh my goodness i can't believe we're now at you know the end of it this is the last episode whenever you embark on a series you know it feels like you've got a lot you know a lot to do and come up with ideas and i don't know about you guys if anyone makes videos out there um who's watching i don't know about you but what happens with me is often I take a little while to get in the swing of it. And then just as I get in the swing of it, the series has come to an end, you know. So as I'm just coming up with sort of, oh, I could make this, I could make that, you know. Oh, no, it's the series has now finished. But it takes you a few days to really get in the zone and kind of start kind of coming up with some ideas. And um, yeah, this has been no, no exception this time. I mean, really, I suppose what I should do is print, not print, um, you know, film one or two that then actually I don't end up using for the series, but I just then put them up at, you know, another time. And then hopefully then if I carried on filming another few, maybe my series would have have more more stuff. I don't know. No, oh, I thought perhaps those ribbons would look really good. But they don't. I have got some green here. I don't think this is going to be the right colour green. But I mean, I do love green, as you know. But yeah, that's pretty, pretty bright, isn't it? Mm, don't think that looks quite right. Let me just see if I could have a little thingy bob coming off at the side. I could have that. Uh, it's not quite right, is it? That. Uh, and let's just see if we want to have... Make a little sentiment on here. Just have this once upon a time. Okay. Oops, like that. Okie dokie. Oh. Now I'm sitting here, you know, I've been sat here for a while. I'm getting really chilly now. Obviously, I'll have to go and put a third jumper on it. <laughs> I'll be like, um, you know, the, Mich the Michelin man in his like big kind of fluffy suit soon. Because I'll have so many layers just piled on. Okay. I mean, that does blend in a bit much. I've got to be honest. I'm not sure whether that's quite the right, right one to have there. Although I do love it, you know, because I think, oh, I mean, it definitely goes. It maybe just goes a bit too well. And that's just ridiculous then. Let's just take this down. Wish I thought to bring some perfume bottles along from my perfume fussy cuts because I think the perfume would look pretty cool on these. So that's quite nice, actually. Mm. 
Oh, that's quite pretty, isn't it? Should we do something like that instead? Yeah, so just going to ink around here. Oops, I've got some hot glue thread now hanging from there. Right, let's put the lace down. Okay, and then I'm just going to hot glue the, the heart straight down. Again, try not this time to put too much hot glue on because actually I want to have this one a bit flatter. There we go. Let's just ink around the whole thing. Oh, sorry about this. The um, the glue thread there. That's annoying, wasn't it? Just go around the whole thing like that. Yeah, I think the once upon a time looks pretty, doesn't it? And then oh, well, maybe down there. I was going to put it like that, sort of in a line, but well, to be honest, I think it looks quite cool either way but yeah perhaps we'll have it lower down so just pop that down there it looks pretty doesn't it and then yeah we'll have that little pearly pearly heart on there as well okay like that oh let's do a blue one now because i'm thinking oh let's yeah, let's mix it up. Let's do a blue one. So I'm going to have to cut out those blue hearts. So I do apologise for this. Like I say, I hadn't really kind of um, thought about doing blue ones, but then I suddenly spotted the blue and I thought, oh, do you know what? I would quite like to do a blue one, I think. You know, just a different look apart from anything else. Don't want them all looking the same. So... Yeah, I actually can't wait to see the blue one, the blue one done, because I think it's going to look really lovely. Not sure quite what paper I will put on the envelope. I mean, you don't have to decorate the envelope up with any, you know, anything, any paper. You could just leave it just envelope coloured. I mean, I think, I think the coloured paper looks good, especially obviously if it's tying it in and making it then, you know, match or look coordinated. But you know, that then is really nice, isn't it? But, I mean, you don't have to do that. You could just leave it, you know, as just the envelope colour. Okay. Like that. Right, let's take this. Yeah, what paper am I going to use for this one? I might have to um, switch the video off and go and print some paper or have a rummage through and see what paper's going to look good with this because I'm not quite sure. Not quite sure what, what paper's going to look good, but... Well, unless we do go with the roses. I mean, that sounds a bit weird, but yeah, maybe. This has got roses, obviously, on these hearts, so maybe it would just tie in, I don't know. Well, let's have a look and see. Okay, right. Let's bring the envelopes in. Oh yeah, that was another blue one. Oh, so was that one actually. Right, let me just see. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. So yeah, let's bring the... Right, so we're going to have that one. I wonder if we could have this. Uh, oh, let me just, yeah, hmm, could have that one. Right, let's take this one. I've had such a nice time working with hearts, actually, this week as well, which is weird because 
I struggle to use hearts and um, I've talked about this before you know to me they don't necessarily feel very vintage but actually this week I've really really loved working with them to the point that actually the other night I was just working on a journal which I've been you know working on and I yeah I then started incorporating some hearts which you know I was like wow I must have been sold on the whole hearts thing because I'm now actually adding them to this journal which that was really really unusual but yeah obviously had got right into right into making things with or using hearts Mm, that's quite cute. Um, got a couple of oh, maybe these blue ones actually. Yeah. Is that blue? I don't know. Maybe I can't squish in as many as I thought I could on here. Yeah, maybe we'll have to do it more like this. Should we do that? Right, let's pop this one down. Oh my goodness. Yeah, pop that one down. And then this one. Okay, like that. And we'll have this one. Oh, very cute. Very, very, oops, very, very cute. So. Like that. Okay. Yeah, then this little blue one and hmm, do we want another blue one anywhere? What happened to that other blue? Oh that one. Oh no, that's weird, isn't it? Yeah, that did look weird. Maybe something like that. That's pretty. So yeah. one and then this one right like I said I might have to go and do a bit of a rummage now to decide what papers oh, decide what papers oh dear they look now straight don't they that's weird let's do it like that oh no that looks weird as well there we go that's better right yeah, I might have to go and have a bit of a rummage because I'm not sure what papers are going to look best. Maybe we could have a um, pink heart on, a blue heart, sorry, on this one. Let me just see. I'll just see whether I've got any paper right here, right now. Because that would be handy, wouldn't it? Let's just try this. that's quite nice could have something like that up here just need something up there okay and that's quite pretty isn't it just try this Oh yeah, let's do that. Right, so covered up that lovely crest, but okay. I thought I was going to make tons of these. I thought, oh, they're going to be really quick to make. We're going to make tons and tons, but actually, I think I've made less of these than I've made of anything any other day. It's probably just because I've been a little bit scattered today. Um, although it could be <laughs> because I've not filmed for an hour and a half yet. I, I'm going to try not to film today for an hour and a half. I haven't really, I can't, I can't really, for, you know, um, today for an hour and a half. Unfortunately, because I would love, love nothing better than hanging out with you guys for the next, you know, well, the whole day really. But yeah. Right. Let's put the heart down. Oh my 
gosh, how yummy and scrumptious does that look? Maybe we could even have a little, little baby one. Oh my goodness, doesn't that look cute? I uh, wonder if we should just finish that off with either some words or a butterfly. So let's just see. Um, let's try. Let's try this one. Oh no, let's try this one. Stink around this. Probably will ink around everything else on here, but just haven't yet. Mm, oh, I don't know now. No, maybe we won't have the words. Maybe we'll just go with the hearts. So let's just ink this up a bit. Just ink around the whole envelope. just suddenly spotted I knew there was a reason why I'd bought this yeah I had bought this blue oh my goodness oh my goodness my goodness I know it's covering up that rose which oh, that's probably a bit weird but but I do love 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 the look of that ribbon I mean, we could do it like that. So, yeah, let's put this down here. Did I have that straight or did I have that curved? Wish I paid more attention. Let's do it like that. And this here, like that. Okay. Right, now just wondering whether I've got any more of those little sort of hot, pearly bits. <sighs> not as far as I can see. Oh, I've got a perfume bottle. I'm not sure the perfume bottle is going to quite go, but anyway, let's give it a try. And oh, I've got one of those needle threaders there. I don't know why that's there, to be honest. But... Let's just try this. No, that's weird, isn't it? This heart, no, that's weird as well. Oh, let's just try the perfume bottle. I know it's not really got a um, place there, has it? But I just thought, well, it's it's here. Let's try it. Now, I wonder if we could have a little bit of lace coming off at the bottom of there. Uh, let's just see what lace I've got. I have got some crochet lace. Don't know whether this is going to be quite right, but. Hmm. Let me just try. Oh, maybe that's better. That just finishes that off just perfectly, doesn't it? So, yeah, put the crochet lace down at the bottom. And then we'll just go over that with the the blue ribbon. So, just, oops, just trim that down here. Okay, right. Blue ribbon. Just there to the side. Just need to uncrease this. Uncrease it. Straighten it out. There we go. Like that. Right, let's now. Across there. Right. Definitely don't want that buckle in the centre because that just looked really odd. But yeah, just there to the side is fine. There we go. Just trim that off here on the edge and then off here. Oh my goodness, how gorgeous does that look? I love that royal blue colour. Isn't that just so yummy? Oh. And with just the touches of pink, that looks absolutely gorgeous, doesn't it? Really, really, really love it. 
still looking because I'm still like, oh, I'd love one of those little pearly heart things. Mm. I, I probably have got one somewhere, but yeah, I'm going to have to rummage about to try and find one. So I don't want to just zap up your time whilst I'm searching. So I'll leave it like that. Now I'm just wondering whether I could, could have a little butterfly on here as well. Just to finish this off completely. There you go. Okey Okay. There we go. It didn't really need a um, butterfly if I'm truthful, but I thought, well, why wouldn't you? They just always look gorgeous, don't they? So, yeah. Why wouldn't we? Could even have it at the top, to be honest, on those bursting hearts, actually. That's rather lovely, isn't it? Well, it's one of those. It looks good everywhere, to be honest. I think probably down there, but yeah. I mean, it did look quite pretty on the, on the hearts that are bursting out as well. So there we go another gorgeous pocket so let's see the ones that we did like i say did not get through half the amount i thought that i was going to get through i thought we were going to make more of these than anything else but there have been a bit more today and i've only managed to make four so yeah shockingly rubbish but aren't they just so scrumptious i really really love them not sure which one's my favorite quite drawn to this first one i have to say also absolutely love this love this one yeah, I'm not sure. Not sure which is my favourite. Let me know below which one do you like the best. So, yeah, I hope that you like them. I hope that they have sparked a bit of inspiration for you guys. I really hope that you've enjoyed the series. We've made lots of yummy bits. In fact, I've got them all piled up here on the side of my desk still. So, yeah, we'll just kind of pull them back in. We made, obviously, the, um, you know, the heart paper clips. We made the heart dangles. We made the lovely love letters there we made the look into my heart pockets like those and we made of course you know the beautiful tags and things also so yeah we've made a lot of yummy things um and now obviously today we've made the bursting heart pockets so yeah i think we've done quite well in this little series we've made quite an abundance of stuff so hopefully you guys also have a similar sort of pile of yummy goodies that you've also made so yeah, hope you're feeling fully inspired and have, you know, have had a really lovely time during the series. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks then. Bye.